Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me present uh, our project which we have done together with uh, MicroRisk and the company CIS, as it was already mentioned. And uh, uh, I'd like to start uh, with a few words about our company, which is the company who produce, uh, which produced uh, pneumatic tools uh, where is no electricity. This was the first point where we were uh, facing off. And uh, our tools uh, could be, in fact, uh, grinders, drills, uh, tappers, hammers, whatever. And uh, if we talk about uh, Industry 4.0 in our field, uh, we can talk about, let's say, state of the art. And uh, in this case, we have, in fact, no information about mm, nothing in uh, what is happening with the tool if we are talking about online status. So we have no information about working process, how the tool is operated. We have no information about uh, grinding speed. Is it good? Not. Nobody knows. And then uh, it, everyone is asking for efficiency. So do we work efficiently? Nobody knows. Uh, again, uh, the machine was operated a few hours. Okay, was it really those hours which we expect? Nobody knows. Habits. This is always one of the difficult and toughest points because uh, people are used to work somehow for 20 years and you have no chance to change those habits. And if you have the tool how to teach the people then it's quite nice. And on, all of, on top of all is the actual situation. We don't know about the actual situation of the tool, if it is running good or not, it's uh, close to be dead, and uh, nothing else. And I'm sure that uh, we, we would find together some other points which we really don't know. And that was the state of the art. And we, we just started a couple of years ago, think, uh, let's change this. Uh, and uh, we say how, how we can change it. And uh, the point was, uh, we will change it. So, yeah. And uh, finally we succeed. And that's the result of our uh, testing and uh, years of uh, development which we have done. So here you can see our first uh, Deprac Industrial Intelligent Tool, shortly DIQ. And uh, this is the tool which is 100% connected with uh, uh, yeah, Industry 4.0. How we have done it? Uh, so as you can see, this is the machine. And uh, ah, this is one example. So this is the machine with 2.5 kilowatt and 230 millimeters grinding wheel. And this is a just machine which we already produce. And then we uh, put inside a special module. One of the, I mentioned it at the beginning, and also uh, Shimon uh, mentioned that, we have no electric energy. So we have to uh, get some. Uh, so we have the autonomous system which works independently out of any uh, source, out of uh, electric. So we need uh, only the compressed air. So we build up a special harvesting system uh, where we uh, just collect the electricity out of the uh, pneumatic uh, flow. We have, of course, wireless communication based on IQ. And uh, then we, uh, the result of uh, all this working system is that we have a permanent monitoring system of the tool. So the tool is 100% under the control. If we have a look to the uh, system itself, so the, the special built-in module consists of a, a power generator unit, which I mentioned, this was uh, one of the most difficult points because uh, we have to have uh, 
quite a lot of energy. Of course, we are talking about uh, many watts, but still uh, it is uh, difficult to get it out of uh, the power generator unit, which rotates maybe uh, from two, 3,000 RPM up to 65,000 RPM. Just we have the idea which range we have to cover with one, one generator. Then we have a lithium battery because the system has to be alive also during the time when the machine is not connected to the air. Uh, then we have an internal memory where we have to store, of course, all important data which we measure. And then uh, we need to have uh, information about the real time. So we have RTC unit and all measured data needs to be evaluated. So the internal CPU unit is, is a must. Then we have a special uh, sensors to monitor the, the status of the tool. I mentioned that we, we measure the speed, we measure the vibration, we measure temperature, and uh, all the information needs to be evaluated. So uh, the system itself works uh, under the special operation uh, OS system. And then we have, of course, wireless communication in a free band, this IQRF system. And uh, also the second point, which was quite difficult and tough, was the radio frequency range. Uh, because our housings of the machine, it's usually made out of uh, uh, casting parts, uh, usually aluminum alloys or uh, sometimes magnesium alloys, which uh, does not <laughs> work with, uh, with uh, radio frequency. So uh, this was also a quite tough job, but then we reached uh, 10 plus meters in, uh, in the buildings and 100 plus meters in uh, our open spaces, so which is uh, good for our uh, technology and our, uh, for our customers, which uh, is acceptable. Uh, when we talk about uh, the basic principle of the whole system, uh, we have a group of tools. Uh, it could be uh, tens, even hundreds of tools uh, which are operated around the, the working area. Then we have, of course, uh, a gateway which collects the data via this IQRF network and transfer it uh, to the Ethernet. Then, of course, all data are uh, transferred to cloud. And uh, data from cloud goes to the software application where uh, we have a standard web browser access to collect all the information. Of course, after the, the software base, uh, everything is uh, recalculated and stored in one place. So we have uh, only uh, one source of information and everything what we are looking for, it's always uh, there is not, nothing stored two times or when you open the the, the web browser, you always get the data, the actual data from the, from the system. And of course, the data could be collected also by the, uh, by the company Deprac as, uh, as our source. Uh, we have two basic operating modes. First one is uh, collecting data, working. When the machine is connected to the air, starting to work, and then uh, everything start to be alive, so the machine uh, collect all the information, measure the vibration and everything. When the, the data are measured, then they are immediately online evaluated, and if they are important, they are stored inside the internal memory. Then when the machine is switched off, uh, the system itself automatically switch off to the, uh, to the communication mode and try to uh, send the data uh, from the grinder via Ethernet gateway to cloud. So uh, when the data are transferred, then uh, they are uh, erased from the internal memory and then the system is ready to receive new orders, for example. So it could be uh, adjusted according to actual conditions. So this was mainly uh, the technical background, which is behind the, the whole system. This is nothing important for the customer, because this is only the, the, the technical must to, to run the system. But the customer is interesting what he gets out of the whole system itself. So here we have a few examples from the application. Those are the real data from the company already. 
And as you can see, uh, this is, we call it dashboard, where you can have very fast and easy idea about what, what is the status of the tool in a time frame. And also, uh, here we have a, a whole day, usually. And then you have, uh, of course, the tools, and uh, they are each day. So this is uh, 23rd of uh, May this year. And uh, here you can see very easily, based on the traffic light system, how the, uh, the machine was uh, running, which means green is OK. Uh, this is some kind of uh, orange connected with a green. And uh, the, how strong the orange became then uh, means this is the seriousness of the problem which could be behind, and then could be also uh, appear the red light. This means that you have very fast, within a few seconds, overview of all tools you have in your uh, factory, and you can say immediately whether it is good or not. If it is not good, then you have immediate information what is wrong. It means, for example, high speed, high, high vibration, uh, wrong wheel, and uh, so the responsible person can react very fast what to do. Uh, the system uh, needs to be fully integrated in the in the company structure because uh, then you have much higher potential to use the application, which means that we can build up the complete company structure with a whole history, whole workers, uh, company hierarchy. Uh, you can recognize the tool. You can identify the tool, so uh, every every tool could be connected with uh, each person, for example, or each working place. Uh, then we have uh, online documentation on a tool. So, uh, all everything is included in the application. Then each tool has a special tool card where you can uh, have the information about when the tool was first launched in the in the company. Uh, or how much hours was working, when the, should be done the regular maintenance, uh, could be uh, also shown the history of workers. If it is transferred from department to department, uh, you can see what was the whole history of the, uh, of the tool inside the company. You know the, the total working time, which is also very good to know if the machine is in the company for 20 two, three, five years, you know exactly how much hours was working uh, the whole time. You know, you know the, the total cost of repairs, because you know everything, what, was, what happened with the tool, and you have the whole history. And uh, you know, for example, because for our customers it is important, how much compressed air was used with the tool. So this is also, uh, you, you see the, the complete uh, history of whole uh, of all uh, what happened with the tool. Another point is uh, actual information, because everyone is looking for what is just right now. So you can see which machines are online, which machines are not uh, online, or when it was the last time when it was online, because it was also, it could be uh, several reasons. Maybe the, the worker is not working with the tool, but he should. So we know it immediately. Uh, we know exactly also the status, for example, conditions of the tool, if it is OK or not. We know how much hours was worked, for example, these days. We know when the maintenance is coming. So if, if there is something which needs to be done with the machine, which means here appears, for example, the key when the uh, machine needs to be maintained. When you click this key, you will have the information what should be done. Exchange the oil in the gearbox, exchange the veins. Uh, too high vibration, send it over to the, the, the maintenance to company Deprac, for example, because the machine is it's, uh, running out of uh, the range. So all those informations could be uh, seen here in, the, uh, in this actual information. And again, which is important, we are talking always about the 100% controlled time. So when the machine is switched on, we collect all the information about the tool.
another strong point of our application because we are, the as the first time, we are collecting the data. That was the first point, the, as I mentioned it, as a technical background. But now we are playing uh, around with, uh, with, uh, with those data which, which we collect. And then we have uh, several options. And uh, I mentioned it uh, in my first slide, effectivity. Uh, this is uh, a general world which everyone try to be as much effective as possible. And we can visualize how effectively, uh, how effective was the tool operated. So, uh, for example, we, we can see uh, in a time frame uh, how was operated the tool. Uh, we, can, we can see uh, what was the optimal grinding speed or whether it was optimal, the grinding speed. Uh, then we can uh, recognize whether the tool was loaded or how it was loaded. Was it overloaded or uh, it was not loaded enough? So it means that uh, the machine is used only for 10-15% of its power. All those things we can uh, easily recognize. And then also we have an uh, average and total air consumption. We have ambient temperature peaks and uh, how many hours was worked. All those data could be uh, uh, displayed in a time scale, which means you can choose from hours up to months, the time scale. Here you can see the example of uh, grinding efficiency of two workers or two machines in one company. And you can compare also, of course, not only machines, but also e workers. This is very important. Uh, when we uh, summarize the key features of this system, it is that you have the tool under uh, control all time, which means that you have available all working data. And then you have a full control of the air tool and process. So you can control everything what is happening with the tool. Uh, if we know what is happening, then we can recognize how should be the tool operated. We can uh, help uh, the customer how to reach an optimal result. This is very, very important. Uh, then we can uh, recommend which tool is best for the process, because if the tool is not good for the process, you can never reach optimal results. So if we are not getting uh, optimal results based on the application, then we have to uh, choose another tool. And again, application will tell us how and what we should change. Power, speed, load, whatever. Uh, then, of course, we can uh, compare workers or tools. Uh, then we can uh, continuously monitoring uh, of the status. Uh, guiding to reach optimal efficiency and grinding speed and load. Uh, control maintenance in intervals, this is also very important. And uh, then we have uh, the, the total working time and full access to the air consumption for better production planning, this is also very good. And all those points has this common single result, which means that we can save the energy and that means save the cost. And this helps uh, us to, uh, together with the customer, become more effective and uh, cost save. Uh, let me finish with uh, only the information about uh, this is the list of our tools, which are at the moment uh, already uh, implement uh, uh, with this technology, which means that we have six machines already ready to sell to the market. So it's not only the, uh, the study or only the case uh, for the development, but this is all already real project, which we, which we are working uh, uh, on approximately roughly three and a half year. So it was uh, this is really only the cover of it, of the project, because behind is uh, millions of equations and, and things like that to get this result. Okay.
Thank you for your attention. So basically, there will be like very very short bridge right now because uh, uh, actually the uh, the cloud uh, backend was uh, designed by company CIS. Uh, so the Prague has the hardware, they ha they have the the software and the cloud, and they work together. So um, uh, so so Mr. Groch will explain like what they can provide you related to to the clouds, right? Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to <coughs> thank uh, Mr. Hubalek for his presentation. And I would like to thank uh, the Prague company for cooperation on this project as well. Uh, my name is Ladislav Groch and I am CEO uh, of uh, CIS company. We develop uh, customize it uh, online application since 1999. Um, we have done uh, many IoT projects too. Uh, da uh, data processing, uh, data visualization, not only for IQRF platform, uh, with, with our partners, uh, for example, Deprac, uh, Protronix, ESL, Microrisk, or Skoda Auto. Uh, we are prepared to share our experiences and cooperate with you uh, on another your projects too. I am Pleasure to introduce you uh, our newest activity, free IQRF cloud and private IQRF cloud. Uh, private IQRF cloud uh, can we can offer customized uh, development and. Uh, for IoT application uh, service and supervision, supervision too. Uh, free IQRF cloud is a new new service uh, on uh, internet address uh, free IQRF dot cloud. Uh, you can. Uh, you can find there a basic information about our solutions. Uh, you can create uh, uh, account when you uh, log in. Uh, you can uh, see some demo data and you can uh, try some function of uh, this solution. I would like to thank all partners of Free IQRF Cloud. Uh, this uh, basic is uh, f f really free of charge. Uh, mainly uh, check server and uh, green housing, uh, data, data center DC6 of Green Data uh, Company. Project uh, with uh, the Prague company is uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, in, uh, interesting uh, because uh, this tool uh, are connected uh, on internet, but this tool are without uh, power supply. Uh, what? Tools will be next one. Uh, maybe pickaxe. Do you know what is pickaxe? No. Martin, can you bring me some pickaxe for showing? Thank you. Thank you. Pickaxe 
there is a real challenge for IoT. Thank you for your attention.